Have you ever wondered if it's possible to construct a river longer than the world's longest river, the Nile? Situated in the heart of Africa, the Nile stretches an impressive 4,135 miles, serving as the lifeblood to the civilizations that have flourished along its banks. From the ancient Egyptians to the modern-day Sudanese, the Nile has been a constant source of sustenance and prosperity. Now imagine a river engineered by human hands, designed to serve specific purposes. These artificial rivers, while not naturally occurring, can still have profound effects on the regions they traverse. They can facilitate irrigation, provide potable water and even produce hydroelectric power. In essence, they can be vital arteries of life just like their natural counterparts. In a world where water scarcity is a growing concern, these man-made waterways could potentially revolutionize how we manage our most precious resource. And this is not just theoretical, it's happening right now. Well, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is planning to do just that. The idea of an artificial river in Saudi Arabia was not conceived overnight. It's a story that stretches back decades a testament to the human capacity for innovation in the face of formidable challenges. You see, Saudi Arabia, despite its vast expanses of desert and arid lands, has always been a country acutely aware of the value of water. In a region where the scarcity of water is a persistent reality, the country has had to think creatively and ambitiously. And so, it has become the top global producer of desalinated water, transforming the salty waters of the Red Sea and the Arabian Gulf into a precious resource for millions. Now let's introduce a key player in this story, the Saline Water Conversion Corporation. This is the powerhouse behind Saudi Arabia's desalination efforts. Each year, this corporation churns out over 1 billion cubic meters of water, a staggering feat of engineering and innovation. But the story doesn't end there. Far from it. The idea of an artificial river was born out of necessity, yes, but also out of the desire to go beyond the status quo, to not just manage the scarcity, but to challenge it, to create an environment where water is not just a scarce resource to be managed, but a catalyst for growth and prosperity. In many ways, this artificial river is a symbol of Saudi Arabia's ambitions. It represents the country's commitment to overcoming its geographical challenges, its determination to secure a sustainable future for its people, and its unwavering belief in the power of human ingenuity. So, you see, the conception of this ambitious project was a response to these unique circumstances. It's a story of vision, of resilience, and of a relentless drive to transform challenges into opportunities. And it's a story that's still being written as we watch this remarkable project unfold. On March 18th, 2024, Saudi Arabia and Egypt announced their plans to construct an artificial river surpassing the Nile. This was no ordinary project announcement. The proposed river aims to outdo the world's longest river, the Nile. The ambition is to create the world's largest desalinated water transport network, a feat that is as fascinating as it is audacious. The project will utilize anti-corrosion pipes with a diameter of two and a quarter meters, ensuring the longevity and reliability of this massive infrastructure. But this isn't a solo endeavor. Egypt, a nation with a rich history of harnessing the Nile, is partnering with Saudi Arabia in this grand venture. Egypt's contribution, the New Delta project, aims to expand its agricultural land by a whopping 2.2 million acres. To achieve this, they plan to rely on recycled agricultural drainage water and groundwater, a testament to their commitment to sustainable practices. The two nations are pooling their resources and expertise to make this dream a reality. Saudi Arabia, already the top global producer of desalinated water, will bring valuable experience to the table. The Saline Water Conversion Corporation in Saudi Arabia already produces over a billion cubic meters of water annually. They are not newcomers to the game of water management. This partnership between Saudi Arabia and Egypt represents a fusion of ambition, expertise and necessity. It's an acknowledgement of the challenges that lie ahead, particularly in terms of water scarcity and the need to boost agricultural production. By taking on this project, these nations are preparing to face these challenges head on. This ambitious project represents a monumental undertaking with significant potential impacts. Fast forward to today, what is the status of this monumental project? Let's delve into the current progress of the ambitious artificial river project. 
It's a story of persistence, innovation and the relentless pursuit of a solution to water scarcity. Saudi Arabia's proposed artificial river project is making steady strides. The world's largest desalinated water transport network is under construction, employing anti-corrosion pipes with a diameter of two and a quarter meters. This is not a small feat, considering the magnitude of the project. There have been challenges, as with any project of this scale. The logistics of transporting vast quantities of desalinated water across varied terrains, for instance, is a major hurdle. However, the engineers and planners are leaving no stone unturned in their quest to conquer these obstacles. Over in Egypt, the new Delta project is set in motion, aiming to expand agricultural land by a whopping 2.2 million acres. This initiative is heavily reliant on recycling agricultural drainage water and groundwater, a testament to the nation's commitment to sustainable practices. It's important to note that Saudi Arabia is already a global leader in water desalination. The Saline Water Conversion Corporation in Saudi Arabia churns out more than a billion cubic meters of water annually. This existing prowess in water desalination further strengthens the foundation of the artificial river project. Both nations are not just building a river, they are crafting a solution to water scarcity and a pathway to boost agricultural production. This is a testament to their commitment to addressing some of the most pressing issues of our time. The world watches with bated breath as this groundbreaking project unfolds. What does the future hold for this ambitious project and its potential impacts? As we gaze into the future, the implications of this audacious endeavor are vast and varied. The artificial river could set a powerful precedent for countries grappling with water scarcity. It showcases the potential of human ingenuity to combat natural resource shortages and illustrates how we can harness technology to adapt to our changing world. But this project is not just about water provision, it's also about agriculture. The artificial river will facilitate the expansion of agricultural land, potentially boosting food production and bolstering local economies. This could be a game-changer for regions battling food insecurity, setting a blueprint for how to harness water resources for agricultural growth. However, like all major infrastructure projects, it's essential to consider the environmental implications. While the project could boost agricultural production and combat water scarcity, it could also impact local ecosystems. The construction and operation of such a large-scale water transport network may have unforeseen effects on local flora and fauna. In addition, we must also consider the energy implications. Desalination is an energy-intensive process and the operation of the artificial river will require significant power. This raises questions about the sustainability of the project and its potential contribution to global carbon emissions. But let's not forget the potential social implications. The project could create jobs, stimulate economic growth, and enhance the quality of life for local communities. It could also foster closer ties between Saudi Arabia and Egypt, strengthening regional cooperation. Clearly, the Artificial River Project is a complex tapestry of potential benefits and challenges. It's a bold testament to human ambition and innovation, but it also underscores the urgent need for careful planning and sustainable practices. Only time will tell if this ambitious project will change the face of agriculture and water management, not just in Saudi Arabia, but potentially worldwide. Let's take a moment to recap what we've learned today. We've dived into the conception of an ambitious project to construct an artificial river that aims to surpass the length of the Nile, the world's longest river. This initiative, unveiled by Saudi Arabia and Egypt, is set to be the world's largest desalinated water transport network. The project's current status shows significant progress, with Saudi Arabia already being the top global producer of desalinated water. Moreover, we've explored the future implications of this project. Saudi Arabia's venture could potentially address water scarcity issues and boost agricultural production. Egypt's New Delta project, on the other hand, aims to expand agricultural land by over 2 million acres, relying on recycled agricultural drainage water and groundwater. As we see, the world is full of astonishing possibilities, and this artificial river project is certainly one of them. Stay tuned for more updates on this groundbreaking initiative.